came home from work today and to be honest i'm so exhausted and i had no desire to cook anything whatsoever opened the refrigerator and all i saw was ingredients there's nothing already cooked no leftovers so then decided to try a new pizza place that just opened up so this pizza is from a place called and pizza so it's like the symbol of and and then pizza and so we decided to give it a try I heard good things about it so we got a vegetarian pizza and some garlic nuts the pizza is pretty small I would say so this is what it looks like it's like a little oval rectangular shape and I took three slices out so it's like one two and three slices here so it, it I think it's like for one person uh, you can definitely share it if you have other things to eat like we're gonna share it because we have the pizza and the garlic knots but otherwise one person can definitely eat this this uh, pizza it's recommended for one person it's like a, your own personal I would say pizza so the pizza uh, when I look at it, it's it's thin. It's a very thin crust. It's a very thin crust. And then I believe you can get as many toppings as you get. I did not go and pick it up. Uh, my husband did, so I don't know. But I think you can put, like, a few toppings on it. Um, they do recommend not to put too many toppings because it is very thin crust. So on this pizza, we have arugula. It looks like jalapeno peppers, some red peppers, and mushrooms. So, and then it has fresh mozzarella. So that's on this pizza. Uh, now, the pizza, when it came out of the box, it's still pretty cold. So even though it was freshly made, by the time we brought it home, which is like less than 10 minutes, um, it cooled down significantly. So we definitely have to heat it up. Um, I had the oven going, so I'm just gonna pop it in the oven. And then even the garlic knots are pretty cold. So I'm gonna pop it in the oven and then see how it tastes. Uh, once it's really hot. I don't want to try it when it's like this because or maybe I should try it just like to see how it is without heating it up. All right. All right, first impression, oh, it's spicy. That jalapeno is very spicy. I don't like a limpy crust, so this crust is definitely very limpy. It does need to be heated. Um, it's a little chewy, um, but the mozzarella has a very nice uh, taste to it. The fresh mozzarella and the sauce is really nice. It um, has a little sweetness to it, and then a, a tomatoy flavor is uh, pretty prominent. But this definitely needs to be uh, heated. So I'm going to heat this up and then see how it tastes. I, I heated the pizza up for about two minutes. The oven was already preheated, so it didn't take that long. I also added some marinara sauce that came with the garlic knots. Now, that's not a lot of marinara sauce for all the garlic knots that came with it. So I would say I would like to have a little bit more uh, sauce dipping sauce to go with this but let's try it now I'm gonna try mm. they're really good garlic nuts there's a very strong garlic flavor you can uh, taste the butter, the garlic, and it's perfect saltiness. Sometimes um, when you get garlic nuts, they're overly salty. This is a perfect balance, and but definitely needs to be heated. So you want them piping hot. 
the marinara sauce is very clean uh, very flavorful and then uh, the pizza let's try the pizza Oh yeah, heating definitely made a difference. It's a really good pizza. Good ratio of topping to pizza. I don't think you can put any more toppings because uh, it would uh, make the you know make the make the pizza not stay like crispy because I think it would just like overpower it since it's very thin crust. The crust is really thin. Now, the one thing I would like is a little bit more cheese. I like that it's fresh mozzarella, but it's in these little, you know, globs of cheese over the pizza. So there are lots of pieces where you don't get that cheese flavor. I would like, I usually like New York style pizza where the cheese is evenly spread out and um, every bite you get extra cheese. So I do miss that. Uh, I don't know if they have a normal cheese pizza or not. Uh, this is what uh, my husband bought today. So I will have to look at the menu and see if there's a, another kind of pizza that has like shredded cheese uh, on it. But the toppings are really good. The peppers are very spicy. I like the freshness of the arugula. Uh, that's really nice. The only thing is because it's fresh arugula, it does kind of have a different texture when you're eating a pizza, it, like your teeth don't sink into that cheese and sauce and stuff. The first thing you bite is the arugula and so you have that grassy taste and then comes the the taste of the cheese and the, the sauce and the bread. So while I like it, I don't think I would add arugula again next time. I like my pizza to taste like pizza. I just want a pure um, pizza taste, like the cheese and the sauce and the bread. That's it, three things. And then maybe topping-wise, I like, normally I like jalapenos, mushrooms, a little bit of onions. Um, I don't see any onions today. I think my husband said they don't have raw onions. The only onions they offer are caramelized onions, and I don't think he put that. So right now, I still feel like the arugula in my teeth. So that's all I'm tasting right now is that grassy feel. But overall, the pizza is just, you know, really good. Um, for my taste, I still prefer a traditional New York style pizza or a Detroit style pizza, which is also really delicious. It's like a thick crust and then there's a lot of cheese underneath and then sauce on top and you know it's uh, almost pan fried and that's really delicious too so but this pizza i would i would definitely get it again i don't think i would get the same toppings um i i i want just a plain pizza like just sauce and cheese and bread the garlic nuts are definitely a hit they're delicious uh, so on a scale of one to ten for the garlic garlic knots, I would say an eight. They're really good, good garlic flavor, perfect amount of saltiness. The sauce is great that comes with it. For the pizza, I would give a solid seven. Um, and it's my rating is based on the toppings that are presented today. Um, I don't know if it would be any different if there were other toppings. So I'll have to see how it is. Um, with just like cheese and sauce uh, on the pizza. But otherwise, it's still a really good pizza and definitely beats cooking any day. Another thing uh, I do want to mention is the price. So for that pizza, which was a personal size pizza and garlic knots, it was about $24 uh, with tax and tip. So just to keep that in mind. So I don't think it's a good value for the money because 
there are a lot better pizzas you know out there for that amount of money it's still a really good pizza but i don't know about 24 dollars for a personal size pizza and some garlic knots so just keep that in mind